Hello everybody, uh, today's vlog will be about life. Have you seen the sun? It's the spring. And today we're gonna talk about how to write an email to your boss and it will be tricky! If you wanna write an email to your boss you must know that your boss doesn't have time to read your email. And that is the first thing to consider, which is very stupid because it should not be like that, but it's like that, especially in Poland. It's a bummer, don't you think? <laughs> But uh, that's the reality. Uh, your boss will not have the time to listen to you. To your boss will not have the time to read an email you have written. So take this into the consideration and uh, and act accordingly. But uh, there are strategies that can be used uh, in order to make this a slightly a slightly easier task. And one of those. One of those strategies you can use is to, to think about what will be the subject of this email. Because if you write very well the subject of the email, your boss will pretty much have an idea about what this email is, is all about. And so you will make uh, the task of deciding whether to read this email right away or to wait or to archive it for later, uh, you will make this task easier. So uh, don't write uh, a subject uh, using words like a question or a problem or please decide, but write really what you want from the boss. So if it's a question, write about what is the question question related to hr or question related to new hire or question related to something if it will be communicatively well structured your boss will have less a struggle to consider whether to read this email or not uh, the second strategy you can use is to uh, is to write a very very short email ideally three to six sentences because your boss will not have the time to read your email your, your email will be in his inbox in her inbox with a lot of other stuff like statuses from automatic systems like uh, spam which uh, she or he was unable to deal with uh, until now because it's far too difficult to hit the unsubscribe link at the bottom of the emails so if your email will be short it will be much easier to deal with this email and so again you will make this task for your boss a little bit easier Another thing to consider is mm, to be specific and to and to use those three sentences in a well thought manner. So uh, what I want to say uh, by uh, by this is uh, well thought will be you can put this email in context by the first sentence, then formulate the problem in the second sentence and propose ideally an outcome or ask for something in the last sentence and if you do that uh, your boss will pretty much have a very very easy task to deal with this email because it will exactly communicate everything anybody needs to deal with an email if you make replies make them in context so leave all the previous messages, uh, the, the history of the messages uh, below because probably your boss will not remember the last exchange of information you had about this topic and so she or he will have the possibility to read the history of the emails and 
and remember the, the, the context and remember the past decisions and it will be much easier again for her or for him. So uh, those are my best practices to write an email to your boss and also I would apply the same rule as to writing to a coworker. Think whether your boss really needs to read this email. If it's a status update, do it very, very shortly. If it's a question, again, it should be very important. If it's not important, it, if you can figure it out yourself, if you can write, if you can find the answer in Google or <laughs> somewhere else in your intranet or in, in a knowledge management database you have at, at your company, don't ask your boss something you can find by yourself. That's very important because I, I am seeing a tendency that people don't think when writing emails, don't try to find information by their own, don't, uh, don't put the effort to write the subject line in a manner that it communicates something. So please try to find the information yourself and if you can't then write an email to your boss. Sounds okay? The staircases are crappy, but uh, the elevators are really, really nice. As if riding an elevator was more healthy than taking the stairs. Is it? Well, no, it is not. I have to test the recording limits on the Fujifilm X-Pro3, so what better idea than keep the camera rolling and see when it will stop recording.